Hello everyone and welcome to this session. This session is all about data science using R, Python and Tableau. So you would be learning the concepts of data science using a tool called R predominantly and post 15 or 20 tutorials I'll be exposing you you all to Python also because this is also fast catching the attention of the world. And I'll briefly explain you all on why Tableau is so important. So this would be the prime focus of the tutorial. And as a data scientist, you all should be briefly aware of what is Hadoop. What is that ecosystem all about? Right, and you can probably explore SaaS also. I'll be explaining you all on what is the current status of SaaS. So even before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself to you all. That's my name, Barani Kumar. I'm an alumnus of IIT Hyderabad and Indian School of Business. When it comes to the bunch of professional certifications that I possess, I have these three certifications from Project Management Institute, which is arguably the number one institute when it comes to project management space. I've done my PMP long back and it still holds good. And I can deliver projects successfully using waterfall methodology. Thanks to PMP. I am also Agile certified practitioner, so I can manage projects using Agile methodology also. And this ACP, Agile certified practitioner, exposes participants to four Agile methodologies Scrum, Extreme Programming, Lean, and Kanban. So I can manage projects using both waterfall methodology and Agile methodology. I'm also PMI RMP risk management professional, so I can manage risks pretty well on the project. I'm also a certified Scrum master, so I can deliver the projects using Scrum methodology, which is a subset of Agile methodology. I've done my Lean Six Sigma green belt, black belt, and master black belt. And I've done those from RABQSA, Registered Accreditation Board, Quality Society of Australasia. I've been dealing with statistics since long. I'm also ITL certified. It is heavily implemented in service industry. I've done my Agile PM, which is dynamic system development methodology. So organizations which want to move from waterfall to Agile might want to actually check whether Agile will work well or not. So in between these two major methodologies, you have another methodology, which is called as DSDM Attorn. Yeah. And this methodology will give an opportunity to organizations to test the waters and check whether Agile will work well or not. So this DSDM Atan has some flavors of waterfall and some flavor of Agile also. And if it works well, then you can switch to Agile with ease. This is in short about my education and the professional certifications which I possess. And here is a brief snapshot of the organizations that I was associated with. I work with HSBC, that was my first company. I've started off my career working with that, which is driven using UK policies. Then I have moved on to join ITC Infotech, which is driven using Indian policies for small medium enterprises. Then I have joined Infosys, which is driven using Indian policies and the large enterprises. And the last company that I was associated with as an employee is Deloitte, which is driven using US policies. So I've more or less covered the major geography. And I am a data scientist as, a prof as part of my profession. I do a lot of research in analytics, in deep learning, and Internet of Things. This is in short about my introduction. What would you learn as part of this tutorial is here in a nutshell once again. We would be predominantly dealing with this programming language called R. Towards the mid, I will start introducing you all to another programming language called Python because this is also fast catching the attention of the world. There are five key things that one has to learn to become a successful data scientist. Statistical analysis, data mining, supervised and unsupervised learning, Data mining is also called as machine learning, and this is heavily used in the space of artificial intelligence. 
I'll briefly touch upon all of these. You will also be learning about text mining and natural language processing and data visualization using Tableau, forecasting using time series, or forecasting is also called as time series. These concepts would be sufficient for you all to switch your careers into data science and to be a successful data scientist.